Yo, G.I. shit, man. Let's get rich. You too. <laughs> it's your boy Dana. We back with another reaction video, man. Today, we react in different ways you can launch your money. I always wonder how drug dealers, all the niggas be doing it. That's why I'd be like, like how the like how does that shit work? Cause I know you have to flip it, but I know there's way more than that. Like how you get the paperwork, how you get how you get like you know all that shit. So so I I hope this video explains my questions. But if not, hopefully you know find another video. Fuck it. Law abiding lifestyle to pursue a life of crime. You've just made your first big score, perhaps from selling drugs, taking a bribe, or other corrupt acts. You can't just spend it or deposit it in your bank account without attracting attention from authorities. That pesky money trail might serve as evidence of the crime you committed. Fact, especially if it's a big amount of money. Like if I deposit, if I go tomorrow and deposit in the bank like 30k, man, where the fuck you got this money from, you know? Type shit. You need to get that dirty money. Even though 30k is not a lot of money. And like, and like, you know, cause you know niggas be still you know, depositing way more like drug dealers and shit. But I'm saying like some little shit, they can still, they still be asking questions. There are three steps to any money laundering scheme. First up, placement, where funds are moved from direct association with the crime. Then layering, or disguising the money trail to foil any authorities. And finally, integration, where the funds are once again available to spend without worry of being caught. So, what are your options? One option is forming a shell company. It's fairly easy, and there are plenty of law firms who can help. It should take them only a bit longer than signing up for a new email address. Launderers may turn to historic tax havens like Switzerland, or places where you can set up anonymous shell companies like the Cayman Islands or the U.S. states of Delaware and Nevada. Well, like, are they talking about shell like the like the gas station, or, or, or like what? Like what they talking about? Shell company is set up. Make up some fake transactions for goods or services that you pay for with your dirty money. Suddenly, that dirty money looks legitimate. It also helps to find people in banking who don't care if you're a shady client. After the fall of the Soviet Union, launderers sought out weak spots throughout Europe where oversight was poor. Billions have been funneled through banks in Cyprus, Malta, and the Baltic nations of Estonia and Latvia. Yeah, so this been going if you prefer for to years. use the stock market, you can try a technique called mirror trading. In this method, you use your money to purchase shares, and then you sell shares worth the same amount somewhere abroad. The trades functionally cancel each other out, but you've successfully turned your rubles into clean euros. A similar method is a back-to-back -back deal, where, say, a Russian takes out a loan in one country, say Austria, that's guaranteed by a deposit of dirty money back home in Russia. She then defaults on the loan. The bank in Austria seizes the Russian deposit, but she still ends up with the proceeds of the loan. No strings attached. Mm. Or maybe you like to visit casinos. Another method oh, of money laundering shit. is mixing dirty money in with clean. Cash businesses like restaurants and casinos are particularly attractive to launderers. A common scheme is to buy a bunch of casino chips, make a few small wagers. Yeah, because I heard they don't be counting the, the, like, they don't be like, you know, they just take the cash. They're not going to be counting. They're not going to be realizing all the money they take. Then cash everything else out as winnings. Or finally, there's smurfing. Though you won't need anything blue to get your green. With this one, you hire a bunch of associates called Smurfs to individually deposit small chunks of the large haul you're trying to cleanse in different accounts in different places. But how many people, how many people you need for a big amount of... The required to report any transaction over $10,000, so you might need to find a lot of Smurfs. So you can see, there's lots of ways to launder money. Unfortunately for you, there's no guarantee that you won't get caught. No funny shit, I'm not gonna lie. If I, if I be doing that shit, I'm not gonna get caught, bro. You know, you know? It's just me. Like, I'm not gonna get caught, nigga. You know who I am, nigga, man? <laughs> you guys are full to the force of K. To my brother, I'm smoking on blood. Oh, come on, man. But if y'all like this short little video, man, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find videos that will involve more of, like, drug deal, like, drugs. I don't know, I just like watching shit like that. Like drugs, animals, like all that shit. So if you got any recommendations, comment down below. But yeah, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. Tune into the next video. I'm gonna start dropping reactions. 
this consistently now. I'm just, you know, finding things to react to. I'm just, you know, trying to work my way around and see what's up. But if y'all like this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. See y'all next time, man. Peace.